What's up everybody, this is Bear Boris and today I'm going to show you how to recycle a clutch slave cylinder. This is also applicable for the master cylinder, for even for some uh, brake cylinders and for brake, caliber and for brake calipers as well. So let me tell you a quick story. Now, last year I was driving my bus, we were going on a beach and I had pressed the clutch all the way down. I was in third gear and I was going down a slope and suddenly the clutch started releasing itself and it was really awkward i got panicked and i stalled the engine of course with the brakes it turned out that the master cylinder on the clutch was uh, leaking and it was releasing the pressure that i was applying to the pedal on its own and i had to recycle it and normally you could go and buy a new one for around 60 uh, euros but i recycled mine for five and it's been working pretty good for about a year now so I'm going to be recycling the slave one as well and I want to show you how it's done. First of all, let's take the bleeder valve off. Um, this is very easy. Be careful, sometimes they can uh, snap. This one was okay. And once that is off, we're going to be taking this clip here off. So we can take the rubber boot on, rubber boot out. It came all the way out. And you can see it's full of gunk this one so I'm guessing it's also yeah it's pretty hard to move but we're gonna take care of that and we're gonna make it like new I promise you, brand new for five euro yeah totally there's a clip over here we need to take this clip out so that the cylinder the cylinder can come out and in order to prevent it from shooting out in our face I'm gonna use this bolt and I'm gonna press with my thumb like this while I try to pry the clip out. And this is one of those operations that is best done with three hands. I only have two, so I'm gonna make do. And you pry out the clip. And it can be a bit tricky. And there it comes. Also be careful not to shoot this out in your face as well. That's where the bolt comes in handy as well. And let's see if the piston will come out. So I'm gonna to help it a little bit there it is like so and this is the main seal that fails and causes all the troubles as you can see it's a bit cone shaped and that's why uh, that's how it keeps the pressure in the pressure comes from behind and it spreads the cone out so that it uh, can hold the pressure of the brake fluid inside and when this uh, gets worn out because it keeps going back and forth back and forth it just simply doesn't seal properly anymore so let's uh, take it out this doesn't wanna come out naturally and I tore it let's clean this up and this up I'm gonna go to the wire brush and clean it up nice and smooth and maybe I'll go to Mario's and sandblast it. Hmm. I'll think about that. Alright, so the disassembling part is done. You can see it's split to bits and pieces right now. I'm finishing up cleaning the piston, the drag over here. And I also uh, am gonna use this little piece of copper wire to make sure that the bleed valve is clean on the inside. There's a tiny, teeny tiny little hole find another way to test it. I'm gonna test it like this. Perfect. Anyways, so we have it completely disassembled. The piston, the rod, all the clips are here in place and all the rubber parts we're gonna be replacing with the new ones from our kit. All right, so back at the workshop, uh, the housing is painted, uh, the piston I'm gonna clean as best as I can with this 
copper wire brush. Good enough. I also want to clean the clips. Let's remove the protection for the paint and from here I'm gonna also undo this so that it's not in the way and I am gonna use a little bit of penetrating fluid to lubricate and to clean and also that's gonna make putting the rings in a lot easier okay that that looks good okay now it's time to install the rubber seal be very mindful you can see the skirt you want it to be facing inwards so like this and for this I have some special mounting paste it doesn't dissolve rubbers and it allows them to be a bit more slippery okay so that's nice and looped let's see if I can stretch it by hand probably not And there you go, it's on, that's how it should look. The spring is on this side and this is where the plunger presses, so that's the proper orientation. The pressure is going to be on this side and it's going to expand the seal. Okay, we put it over the back here. And now's the tricky bit. You have to put the piston inside the cylinder, inside the housing without the skirt the skirt flipping outwards because it wants to flip out when you put it like this you want to tuck it in just like so and then all the way around nice and easy don't press too hard with your thumb and then on this side and it's gonna flop and there's a second because this is where the this is the notch where the seal or not the seal but the clip lives in you want to be very careful when you push it further down and it should be moving nice and smooth you can even lube it up just a little bit all right so now that the piston is inside so i'm gonna push it in gently a bit further down it's moving smoothly that's important and i'm gonna try to install the clip back in place Sometimes I wish I had free hands. Life would be so much easier. There you go. Almost. Easy. Alright, now the piston is in place. It's held in by the clip and it's not coming out anymore. The seal is moving nice and tight and everything's smooth so I'm very happy with it. All that's left is to install the plunger and on this model it lives just like so. The only thing holding it in place is in fact the boot. So to install the boot we want to put this clip here because it can't go over the big head. Slide it like so. There it goes. Now I'm gonna slide the clip over it. There it is. And now the tricky bit is sliding it over the housing here because it is very snug try like this and then on this side hmm. that was much easier than I expected there it goes and now the big clip comes on like this I'm gonna use the screwdriver again a little bit and it's on last installed the bleed valve and put the brand new cap on it and there you have it it's a brand new clutch slave cylinder i hope you found this video useful if you did drop a like ask me something in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already thanks for watching bye